Welcome back to our SketchUp project. We are working on our one bedroom house using the Harley Blueprint series. In this video, we, we are going to take a look at the front door and similar to how we did the windows, we're going to create the trim using the follow me tool in order to create the front door. We also want to um, create using two different groups. So one group or one component for the trim and one for the actual front door. So if we go over here to the front door, we're going to use our tape measure in order to kind of lay out everything for the door. So if we do a 0.5, we're going to go over to the left. Actually, we will create our 0.5 there and our 0.5 there. From here over, let's go ahead and do a 3.5. I want to make sure that I right click on the plot and go to lock and our walls are still locked from the windows. Uh, I also want to make sure that I lock the foundation. Come here with our rectangle tool and I'm going to close off our little shape. If you mess up, just hit Control Z, no big deal. Always going from corner to corner. Select our eraser tool, which is letter sheet keyboard letter E. Erase our shapes at this point if we need if we wanted to change how that looked then we could do so um, I just want to create like a simple a simple trim for this next we want to we need to create our little indention so I want to find the midpoint So our door is going to be an inch and a half. So we're going to go half inch this way. We'll go 0.5 this way. And this is going to, and then half an inch this way. And then we'll create our little gap. And our door is going to be here. Go ahead and erase that line. Next, we're going to take our line tool. We're going to draw our line going up, draw another line going across, and then a third one going down. Again, we don't need one going across the bottom here. Take our selection tool. Go ahead and click on that line. Hold, we're holding down shift, click on the top line and the right line. With all of them selected, we have one continuous line going all the way around. Click on the follow me tool. They will deselect, that is perfectly fine. We have our shape. The entire shape is gonna highlight because we erased those lines. Uh, if they if we don't and we have those lines there, we can only select part of the uh, part of the shape and we have to do all of the stuff again with the other shape. Go ahead and click and now we have our door frame. If this comes out as being reversed, so we ha have that blue texture, we can just triple click on it, right click and reverse face like we have before. At this point, I want to go ahead and just erase these guides that I don't need anymore. I also want to triple click on this, right click, and we're going to make it a component and put it as door frame. Now that we have our door frame, we're going to take our rectangle tool. We're going to go into from that corner to 
this corner. I want to go 0.5, go in a little bit, and let's close this one off. Take our we'll take eraser tool, I'm going to erase this part right there. Take our push pull tool and we're going to pull this all the way up to the top. Next, we're going to triple click on this, make sure everything's selected, right click, and we're going to make, make a uh, component, and we're going to put door, underscore three foot. Next, we're going to click on the trim, hold down shift, select the door, right click and we'll make that whole entire thing a group so component component then merge them together as a group and now we have our front door and that's the process of creating that if we go over here so this one is a pocket door so it's a little bit different so with our pocket door we actually need to unlock our wall and this doorway is two foot six so that's the space that we need on this right here so I'm gonna go two foot six to create a guide of where this needs to be I'm going to right click edit group here we're going to down here at the very bottom we're going to find our center of our wall. We're then going to go and do 0.75 on one side, 0.75 on the other. And actually we will go in here and do a full inch. So go and do 0.25 on each side. This is going to be the door. So we can actually erase this right here. So this part is going to be door and this will be empty space. Take your rectangle tool. We're going to go from the outside edge using our keyboard shortcuts of the middle scroll, middle scroll wheel and the shift key. Make that rectangle. Use the push pull tool. We're going to push it all the way back hover over that guide. If you look down the very bottom, it should say negative two foot six. Go ahead and select. And now we've created our pocket hole door. Next, we're going to take and on this side, we need to create our guides as well so that we can actually create our door. So find that midpoint. This side we only need to do 0.75 because it's just the door itself. Before we create the door, we're going to right click, close group. That way the door is not a part of the wall. Take your rectangle tool go up here to we'll start here if I don't lose track of my there we go so go from this top corner here scroll all the way down again we're using the keyboard shortcuts of the middle scroll wheel and the shift key in order to go back and forth from the rotate and the hand go to the bottom right corner it should close up uh, if it doesn't close up then you probably went to the wrong wrong guide we're going to use the push pull tool so the letter p um, and pull it out an inch and a half to this other line so pull that out an inch and a half you can either hover over that guide or type in 1.5 either way same thing hit the space bar 
and triple click on this, right click, and we're going to make this component and we will do pocket door. For this right here, what we're going to do is we're going to create the trim really quick. So this one's going to be a little different. So we're still going to do our 0.5 and we're going to do our 0.5. We also want there to be a guide right here because we obviously can't go and do a trim all the way around. From here, we're going to do the same 3.5. like that. We're going to create our measurements or create our rectangles. Eraser tool, erase our lines. So this one is going to go all the way around. So take our line tool, draw in our line going all the way to the top draw in another one going across and a third one going down again we don't need the bottom one hit escape in order to deselect it hold down shift with the selection tool click on all three lines we're going to do follow me tool and click on our shape it came out reverse, so triple click on it, right click, reverse spaces, right click, and we're going to make this a component, pocket trim. Click create. So now we have that. And so what we're going to do, if we go over to and we're going to take the move tool, click on this corner, hit control, drag it over to the other side of the door, if I can find where my mouse is. And just place it there. With it being a group or component, if we hover over it with the move tool, we have our little red X's. Click on it, go all the way around. We still have some of our guides. The only one we still need is the, the fur furthest one. So we're going to go from the wall out 0.5, hit enter. Now we have a guide of where it should be. So take our move tool again, scroll down, drag it from this corner. And click on it on that corner guide. Now we can go in here and erase our guides. Actually we can go in here edit and delete guides in order to delete all of them. Take your section tool, click on the wall, hold down shift, click on that trim and click on this trim, right click and we'll make that a group. In order to make it look like a pocket door, we're going to, let's edit this group, take our move tool, select this corner, select this, select the door, hit the right arrow key, and put it, move it along the red axis. On So, and then we can right click and we can close that pocket door. Over here in our tags, let's go ahead and add a tag. We're going to do doors. With the doors, again, take your color and I need to do something other than that green because there's a bunch of them. So go through here, make sure that you change these to so that they are something different. If they get too close to the same thing, 
With your entity info, you're going to make sure that you select each one of these and make sure they tagged as doors. Now if we hide the doors, they should both hide along with the trim. Make sure you go in here to do a file save, file save as, um, however you've been doing it. Make sure you know that this is your latest one. Make sure you take a screenshot of our doors with the pocket, pocket door slightly open. Um, and that is it for this project uh, or for this video rather. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos as we start closing down this project and getting into our materials in our next video.